there guys, this is Reckles with One to Buy Gold, and today we are taking a look at one of the add-ons that I use on a regular basis. It's actually a combination of add-ons, and here it is. So this is how I go about farming. Uh, farming herbs, farming ore, farming treasure chests, farming time rifts, whatever. This is kind of my setup, and I use this because it looks like there's a lot in the middle of my screen, but really, it's uh, it fades into the background of your vision really quickly, and uh, just having a line to follow right in the middle of your screen makes it really easy to kind of AFK farm, watch some YouTube videos, whatever you wanna do. So, today, we're gonna be talking about how to set this up. So I've talked about some of the farming add-ons that I used before. I'll put that in a link right here. But there are four add-ons that we need. The first is Gathermate 2. Uh, if we go over to Najatar, you can see what this does. Whenever you pick up a, a node, it puts a little marker on your mini-map like this. Uh, but as you can see, this is not all of the herb and ore spawns in the game. So you also need Gathermate 2 data. Gathermate 2 data... Uh, if you, we go to Twilight Highlands, you can see I didn't absolutely not pick every single one of these herb nodes. It's just a database that you import into Gathermate, and we'll, I'll just show you where to do that real quick. You go into your interface, then add-ons, then Gathermate 2, and for import, you can overwrite herbalism and then you pick your expansion right here and you click import oh overwrite will just put it into your database it'll just give you all the nodes but merge will combine the two the problem with merge is that they're little duplicates you can see right here and right here that there are two nodes that are real like one of these i picked and then one of these is from the database so in order to clean those up you have to do, you have to manually go click it. But if you want to clean it up without doing that, what you can do is go to Gathermate 2 and then Maintenance. And you can say any herb bushes uh, within eight yards, uh, you want to combine them. So you say clean up database. And it takes a little minute. Hang on. All right. And once you get cleanup complete, we can look back here and look, there's only one herb node here. So that'll just save you some confusion. But now that we have all the nodes in order, we can start working on an effective farming route. Uh, this little green circle is called Farm HUD, and it used to be included in Sexy Map by default, but then Warlords of Draenor came along and it doesn't work anymore. This is essentially just your mini map. There's a little button right here down at the bottom that shows you what it's actually doing. To activate this and, and get it working right, we go into Farm HUD, Key Bindings, and I just have this set to tilde. You can set it to whatever you want. And then under here, there's also on-screen buttons. Uh, if for some reason, uh, you, you like sometimes when you load it up, it'll just be this and you're like, this is not what I want. This is, <laughs> this is somewhat intrusive into my game. So you turn on on-screen buttons. That's what these four are down here. And then uh, you can do this. You can also click this little button right here if you wanna hover over an icon and see what it actually is. So you can not only hover over things, but you can also put little markers on the map. The only problem is you can't mouse turn. Like I'm, I'm clicking, I'm holding right mouse button in order to turn, and that's because it's this is actually the mini map that I'm clicking on. So if you want uh, full functionality, you want to click through. But if you want to see what's underneath, uh, you click there. So now to get an actual route going, we're going to open up routes by uh, this is the fourth add-on you need. And uh, this is not a new add-on in any way, but uh, I've come to really, really like it. So you select the zone you're in. It'll pick the zone you're in by default, but just double check in case of some shenanigans. And we're gonna do, call this four video whiptail. The reason I'm farming whiptail rather than xenanthid is because uh, the I sell a million gold worth of Isle of the Sands every single month. 
And so uh, I need to farm Whiptail on a regular basis, and it's actually super profitable. Here's another video I'll link to here. So once you have GatherMate 2 data installed, you might have to reload. I've, I've had situations where this is blank, but you click on the herb that you're tracking, and you say create route. Now, by default, this is what you get. This is not this is not useful for us. This is an this is an inefficient route right here. So we're gonna fix that. We're gonna clean it up. We go into the whiptail route and we go to optimize. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cluster the nodes. And so what cluster nodes does, right here, we're in range of three nodes. If any of these nodes were up, uh, we would see it. So this spot right here is the only spot that we actually need to go to. So cluster kind of groups any nodes within 60 yards together. You can change this, but 60 yards is where nodes become visible on uh, routes that have like high, if, if you're working with high ping or anything like that, you might want to reduce this. If you have to get really close to a node in order to see it, uh, then increase the or decrease the cluster radius. So we're gonna cluster it and already things are looking a little bit better. Uh, then we're gonna go down to foreground and we're gonna optimize it. Now, if you're working with a uh, slow PC and uh, foreground uh, locks you up, then you can just do background. It takes a little bit longer, but essentially it's it's making routes and using like artificial intelligence or whatever to, to figure out the absolute uh, fastest route. And this is what we're working with. So this is the most efficient route to hit all the whiptail nodes in Oldham. But the problem with this is that these are actually phased, like this zone rises up out of the water if you do a quest, and I haven't done those quests, so I can't access these nodes, or maybe they just never exist. I don't know, something funky's going on over there. So what I actually do is I make a second route for Oldham, uh, actual route. And then I just create bear route. Grrr. Get it, because bear. I don't, all right. So what you do is you edit route manually. And for this, what I do is I connect these dots to the basic outline of what we're going to be doing. So if you click on these little buttons right down here at... Uh, at the midway point, then you can add a little vertice uh, to each line. And I just kind of go through each of these spots and I just kind of trace. Super easy. But here, rather than going all the way down here, I'm just going to keep going along the river. And the rest of this is going to be uh, kind of boring to watch, so we're just going to do a time lapse. Okay, and here we are. We are just about done, and the route is looking pretty okay. So, you know, if, if you want to get herbs, you can just fly along the river, and you can just think of it that way. But sometimes, like, if you're watching YouTube videos or Netflix or whatever you do, uh, then it's going to be, like, you, you, you don't, you don't want to pay attention. So uh, if you want to hide a route, there's a button right here under line settings. And there we go. We've got a recreation of my whiptail route. And now I can just fly along and pick up all the herbs that I want. Uh, not pay attention. I've got a nice, bright, shiny color, so uh, I see it even in my peripheral vision. And the last two important things 
I want to talk about. If you do have problems seeing this data when you go to create a route, first make sure that you have the GatherMate 2 data installed. Otherwise, you're not going to have GatherMate 2 data. But if you do, go ahead and exit out of WoW, close it down, and just relaunch it. Don't just do a reload, and it should pop up if you have any other questions asked down in the comments. And then for the last thing, I wanted to go out to Najatar to show you all this. Here, if I'm going around and just farming time rifts, I'm not on a miner or herbalist. And if you see all these nodes and you want them to go away, what you can do is go in here, go to GatherMate 2 and just turn these to either only while tracking or if you are still tracking them but you don't want to show them on your minimap, you can say never show, never show, get out of here, fishing nodes. And then when you open your map, you'll only see the time rifts that are here. This is actually a plugin from Handy Notes. And setting it up like that should make your farming life a little bit easier. You can just go around and grab these time rifts or grab the herb nodes, whatever you want to do. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Good luck and happy gold making.